I know I literally just published a uh, video of how to do um, or ha how to uh, paint and do and make uh, something in layers using Tinkercad and Inkscape and Bamboo Studio. Um, and that's great, but I just kind of stumbled upon the Flexi Toy Maker, and that makes uh, this kind of makes that video a, a little less relevant. So I wanted to show you if you just open up the Flexi Toy Maker, go to New Project, right? It says drag and drop or, or select an image, right? So you can start with a JPEG, a PNG, or a WebP. So I'm gonna just grab upload image. We'll do, uh, where is it? That's dog man image, open. All right, perfect, confirm. And right away it knows a whole bunch of things. Now, uh, it's giving me 15 colors here. Clearly I don't wanna actually do that. If I can drop down the colors to four, let's drop down the colors to three. Now I have a very simple dog man. That looks pretty good. We confirm. All right, now I have this guy right here. Now, the whole point of this is it's a flexi toy maker. So to do that, you can add a hinge. All right, I'm going to add a thin hinge. Just straight across Dogman's neck here, as Dogman, you know, should have a hinged neck. I can add a joint, I can add a joint. That's pretty good, I think. And then I can move those joints wherever I want. And then I just want to maybe lower this a little bit. Get it more in line with his neck stitches there. All right. Then I can click download. Confirm. And then we're going to download it as a 3MF. It's going to open right in Bamboo Studio. And check that out. I have a flexi dog man, full color, both sides. Guys, this is nuts. And just to let's see how long it's going to take to print this. I dropped it down to three colors. Total time two hours and 11 minutes to get a dog man with a flexi head. Um, you saw how long that took to make. This uh, this flexi toy maker is game changing, guys. Truly.